Hello everybody, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? Welcome to episode number 41. Yes, we are getting close to the time of episode 50 where I get to show off my super secret project. Oh, my super secret project. But anyways, that is not today. Today we are going back to this tree farm that I had made a while ago and you know there's a back part of this that has not been finished but I'm working on that I worked a little bit off camera because uh, doing redstone on camera for the most part is kind of like er, impossible so let me show you uh, what I have done and I'm right now just kind of growing some oak wood because I just needed oak wood so I'll destroy all those saplings in a second but I warn you right now this is this is not etho or mumbo or azuma type redstone you are gonna look at this is Keith KMA's corner type redstone <laughs> and I see stars so let me make a day and then I'll show you my awesome redstone concoction of ugliness so I have moved the button now that was initially here because I had to make holes and you can see the redstone through there and that was not cool so I moved the button here and I'll change this block to probably that block to emphasize that there is a button there and what that button does is it pulls down all these dirt blocks so when all these trees are all grown up in adults I can just run along as you see the leaves are too high so I can just run along and just cut the wood down and go chop 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 but with the um, dirt there I, I can still go chop 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 but there's now a water system and that's what this button over here does um, as you see when I step on this over here I chop down the tree and this water system flushes everything to a couple of um, hoppers over there oh and I destroyed a water block oh I did that on purpose when I was working on it so I'm gonna fix that Keith remember fix that water source there so when I hit this one look nothing happens because for some reason I have to hit this button twice for it to work. That is one of the problems that I'm going to be working on today. But so you see the water flush system flushes everything towards the center canal, which has um, packed ice and also water sources going to this part. And we'll go over that later. But as you see, I made a goof and judgment and I got to move this one over one. And actually at the end over here, I need to add another dropper or dispenser I don't even know what this is what are you what are you tell me you're a dispenser okay it's early in the morning forgive me and I need to stick one here and I think probably on the other side over there so everything flushes to these canals with the water system and the packed ice so let me turn this off I think it will take two to turn it off yeah, I gotta figure out why that's happening, and that's, like I said, something we are gonna work on in this video. So, um, initially this was gonna be the chest that everything went to, but instead I decided to uh, put everything there. So, if you see, like, if I throw, if I throw this out there, that's not gonna be close enough. Suck it up, suck it up! If I throw this out there... It goes through there and works its way over to a silent hopper, not hopper, elevator, dropper, dispenser, elevator, dropper, whatever it is, dropper, dispenser, hopper, whatever it is, and it works its way into here, um, which is very helpful when, um, because you cut down the trees. You don't want to stick around and wait for the leaves to fall and get all the little saplings and stuff. You want to be able to move along and still collect all that stuff. So that's what that is basically doing. And as you see, it's still filling it up. It's not f super fast or anything, but it does the job that I really want it to do. 
So let me show you the ugliness. I, I've been delaying. I still haven't fixed this ugliness. I mean, come on. I have redstone on grass. I have to fix that. I've been saying I have to fix that for probably six months now. But, like, as you see, there's ugliness down here. It doesn't look as ugly as I thought it would. But anyways, haha. <laughs> so, <laughs> The button that you hit powers this redstone line that goes over here. And then I have to invert it. And it goes right into this, um, oh, Jesus. What? Oh, no, that's F5 mode. I want F3. Um, it goes right into the droppers, yes. I forget what this is called right now because it's morning. And my brain ain't working. But anyways, it, ref it sends a, a, wherever you are, a piece of something around in a circle and when that piece of something is in this bottom dropper it powers this comparator which then powers this redstone line and it goes to a whole bunch of different places um, and all those places are to uh, the line comes around and it goes I, I can't jump and I can't break that block because there's water there let's see if we can see it it goes to a repeater that goes into a block next to the repeater and powers that block and above that block is the dropper that dispenses the water I guess it would be a dispenser if it dispenses water instead of a dropper so yeah I'm having troubles with my droppers and dispensers today so basically I have it going to all the different oh a nice creeper there nice to see you let me kill this guy. I don't know if he has a way up here or not, but that was not cool. You blew up all that redstone I was working on yesterday. I must have to light something up down here. Light, light. Let's light. Because we don't want things like that bugging me. Holy moly. I spent a long time yesterday out here um, fixing it, and I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to fly. If words can fly. So basically, um, from that button, I have a line going around this whole thing to all the different um, droppers or dispensers. <laughs> and as you saw, I have to add one around here somewhere. It goes around here and it comes up here and there's a... There's no creepers down here? Okay. There is a dispenser above this block. So... It, as I showed over there, it goes, the redstone line goes into a repeater, which powers this block, which powers the dispenser. Then there it goes in, there's a dispenser above there, a dispenser above there, dispenser above that, dispenser above that. So once I got to this section, it is pretty easy to do. All you just gotta do is power the block underneath the dispenser with the repeater, and the dispenser will go plink. <clears throat> Oh, and one minor thing that I forgot to tell you, the reasoning for this thing over here is because when you hit a button, it sends a pulse, okay? <clears throat> what this does, and I should really have looked up what the name of this really, really is, um, what is this really, really is, the name of this, uh, next clip, I will tell you what this is called. But it changes that pulse into a long signal because of this comparator. That's why this stays on even though the button is not pressed right now. So that's why that is there. There's a reasoning for it. And um, one thing I, I've noticed when I was trying to learn redstone is that you see how to do all these things, but you don't know the reasoning for it. So that's why I'm trying to explain the reasons behind certain things with the redstone. So I have the line going this whole way down. And these are just um, activating the dispensers in the center of the farm to push the leaves to the two separate water chambers. There's a water chamber there. You can see the packed ice underneath it. And a water chamber there. You can see the packed ice over there. So I just go around the outside. And now all these are um, powering blocks underneath dispensers down here properly. And that's all I did. And these repeaters are just extending this signal so you can continue. And what I need to do is I had another repeater down here. Probably like right there. Not another repeater. Another dispenser right there. Probably right there. Probably. So I got those things all working. And just to explain again the other button 
And I'll show you when I go up exactly what it does. The other button comes over here and does the same exact beginning. Since it's a button, I need it to stay lit for a long time instead of a pulse. So it goes through this thing, this dispenser sidechain thingy. I don't know what it's called. And turns the pulse into a regular signal. And it goes around the corner here and it gets extended with repeaters. And one signal goes over there and one signal stays here. And as with dispensers to help to um, activate or power pistons, these are all sticky pistons, um, you power the block underneath it and you do that with repeaters. So you just add the line down here and power all the blocks and when the signal gets weak and it won't go any farther, you add a repeater and re-strengthen the signal. And same thing and thankfully you can put these things on top of hoppers which is really cool really awesome so both of those lines go down on both sides as you see over there so there's lots of I mean it looks like a ton of redstone and it but it really isn't we have the water line starting here so once these um, dispensers flush the water out and pushes everything to the center goes along this water on top of fat packed ice and to make it last a little bit longer, I could just put another water stream right here and have a thing of packed ice here with no water. And obviously the stream will, or whatever's in the um, water stream will continue going. But if something fell right here on top of the packed ice, it would stay there. So that's why I stuck a half slab down there. So the stuff goes underneath the half slab and I actually put the water stream on top of the half slab putting a sign here so the water doesn't go backwards and it allows um, if something falls here to continue down the stream that's why I have this little weird setup there and it goes down to the center point wait where's the center point center point right here oh but if something falls here oh I gotta figure out something oh actually I don't have to figure out something here duh my brain is still waking up underneath this half slab right there where I just said I needed water on top of it to keep it moving, there's a hopper. So if I throw something on here, it will go into the hopper underneath. Should go into, no, oh, maybe not. Maybe I am corrected wrong. Uh-oh. Maybe I have a spot here that I can't collect stuff. Well, you know what? <laughs> Too bad. There's gonna be enough stuff around here that I think if I had two blocks in this whole area where I can't get stuff, but I'll think about that and maybe I can fix that also. Maybe I'll just get rid of this half slab. And why would I need a half slab there anyways? I could just I could just go like this. Hmm. As I thought for a second all my redstone was destroyed there underneath. But maybe I can just go like that because um yeah, I don't need the the slab there. And as you see the slab should be over here, maybe. Hmm. Still a work in progress, I guess. Hmm. Maybe, did I destroy my water? No. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, there's the half slab and it should pick the stuff up from there. That's interesting. There are still some things I need to figure out here. Hmm. I don't know where it went. But anyways. <laughs> That was weird. Um, so that's what these streams do. And there's another one back here. <laughs> like I say, we got to still work on this farm. There's another one back here, and this is the same sort of thing. There's the half slab underneath there. And it should go into the hoppers and work the hopper chain all the way over to where I have my chest here. Now that one's not, there, there's something going on with my hopper, so I gotta figure that out. Something, one of my hoppers is being powered, and that is what it is. That is exactly what it is. You know why? I, maybe I'm gonna have to dip this down, make this thing a little bit shorter. But you see over here, that redstone on top of this hopper is powering this hopper so nothing is going by it 
Uh, it basically locks the hopper. So I'm going to have to put this hopper chain down another level so it's not powered. So I just figured out something else that I have to do before the end of this episode. Uh, hmm. Huh. Redstone. Gotta love it, but oh man, can it be a puzzle? So down here, <laughs> the the stuff, um, I imagine if I threw stuff down here, as you see it worked its way up into here. Now I got that there. That is so weird. That is so... Uh, are things getting stuck in here? Maybe I have something powered on... Well, I knew that was going to get stuck, but I'm still looking for my second one of those. Hmm. That's... Because in these uh, dropper elevators, one item always gets stuck. If I looked into these, there should be one item somewhere. And of course, proved wrong again. Urgh. Derping with redstone. But anyways, when something comes into here, um, this comparator recognizes that there's something there. Turns on, powers this block, and powers this repeater, powers that block, powers this repeater, powers this block, and powers this repeater. And it's like a cycle. It's a clock, basically, and each time it clocks, it also turns this thing on. Then when this one, I mean, turns this torch off, which turns this torch on, and it slowly works its way up, moves it into the chest. So, as you see, I need to fix a couple of minor things and um, get this thing going. And that's basically what I'm going to do. And now that some trees are, I'm, I'm going to do this just so I can show you. Most of the trees are grown here. So basically how I would use this farm, because these things will fall off. I hit that, and all those dirts go down. Then what I can do is I can just go along like this and go boing, boing, you know. I'll, I'll just speed this up. It's all to do with color. It's all to do with round, with shape. It's, uh, everything's colored. Everything we know is oh, it must be to do with orange. Not only with orange. I haven't seen color. I live in a monochromatic world. I can't use color. Okay, so effectively, I have collected most of the wood here, but as the leaves despawn, some wood and some of the saplings will just hang out and, you know, you see apples and stuff falling down here. And yeah, I don't really necessarily need all that stuff, but just in case, we'll hit this button twice. <laughs> it's supposed to be once, but we'll hit it twice and you see everything gets pushed to the center and then eventually it should end up in here and as you see some of the stuff is coming in here um but probably not from the other side right now so i can just basically walk away from this with the water running come back in like five or ten minutes and turn the water off so what i am gonna do is i am gonna fix this redstone figure out why um some things aren't working and give you an update and also on thursday i am gonna stream no saturday i am gonna stream me um adding to the end of this building because <clears throat> ah, ah ah get out of here there we go because as you see <clears throat> excuse me the rest of the tree farm is covered with a building this side is not and we don't want this tree farm out in the open so creepers come and go blow boom and then i go oh man so um we on a stream on saturday i is going to build the rest of this building over the top of this while i do other stuff and um it's gonna be basically designed just like this area is and um I'll put highlights, you know, from the stream in this video so you can see kind of how I did it. And um, so I'm going to work on the redstone and then I'm going to build the top over this and show you guys what's going on. And I'll, 
probably overlay some stuff so you know exactly what's going on. So let's turn the water off. Did that turn it off or do I have to hit it twice? I gotta hit it twice. So I'm gonna have to double pulse that somehow. But as you see, things are still coming in here. So for the most part, it is working. I am overlaying images of me working on the other two dispensers or droppers or whatever I put in there. I don't really remember. Um, and derping a whole bunch as I try and get this tree farm working properly. This is why I don't do redstone on camera because it is so, so much like figuring out a puzzle and watching somebody figure out a puzzle is not the most fun and exciting thing in the world to do. And it's lots of trial and error, so it's really hard to record. And also, I'm going to overlay some images of me building the walls around the um, single area tree farm so I can actually have walls and be protected in this area. I did this on the live stream on Saturday night, and um, I hope these clips help you understand what I some of the work that I did while making this tree farm. I don't normally do these overlays, but I think it is actually kind of interesting to watch some of these. So I figured why not try, especially with the talkative beginning of this episode. Um, a little overlay and a little time lapse can break it up a little bit. With this block placement, <laughs> I respectfully sort of finish this farm. Um, I gave up. I worked on the redstone for so long to get the button to pulse correctly and to figure out what a dispenser and a dropper the differences are <laughs> because obviously I can't remember the differences and the oh. so yeah that what I ended up doing just out of frustration I got rid of this thing that I was forgetting the name of. That's called a T flip flop. Okay. I had one over here and one over here. And I've decided to take them out for now and just use levers because redstone is frustrating. So I now have levers to do my stuff. And I'm not even going to turn that one on because it still takes two cranks with the lever to get it going and I found a problem in last night's stream um I figured I could put the water right there and it would run down here but I forget with hash labs now I'm putting the waters a block higher which throws this water stream off and throws it so it goes backwards so I have to um let me get them down here real quick I have to Learn my redstone. Oh boy. Thank you. Um, I have to power that block from a different angle than this. Come on. Because there's the, uh, this is where I need to put the block of water, right where that thing is. So I figure I can angle it in this way, but for some reason, I just like watered this whole area down. And. Oh, okay. Something's going on here. Um, so I got to figure this out. I have to move this over here. Move this thing. I don't know. That's where the lever is. So I got some work to do. Um, and I'm not going to do it on cam. I give up. I give up. I totally give up. <laughs> um, let me show you what I did with the towers on the stream. I showed you the little highlights. I just made the small tower there and there. And I'm probably going to make two more small towers here and here. Then get rid of this diorite, the bird poop, and then fill it in with glass and we'll be done. And that will be done in a future episode or on the side. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But um, this is why I don't do redstone on camera. This is totally why I don't do redstone on camera. It is so hard. Um, and then I want to explain everything, and by the time I get done explaining it, or trying to explain it, it's been 20 minutes. So I think in the future, all my redstone projects are going to be kept secret, kept safe. 
or I, I'll show explain them on stream and stuff um, or maybe if I do a tutorial I will do that um, but no more redstone on camera uh -uh. maybe a little bit here or there but oh my god this video was a disaster from to begin with so if you're still watching me right now oh, pat yourself on the back I, I congratulate you thank you thank you so much for whatever watching this far um, and I'll see you next episode we're gonna get some villagers into the green dragon villager inn and I think that's what the episode is gonna be because I want to get that villager set up and um, then I'm gonna do some more breeding so I can get the best of what I want in there and that will be the next one number 42 eight more to the super secret project and um, I have to say, if you follow me on Beam TV, I think it's Beam TV, mm. Beam Streaming, it's KMA's Corner, my account there, Beam Pro, that's what it is, mm. um, KMA's Corner, I stream every Tuesday, Thursdays, and I'm going to say Sunday mornings now, and if you missed yesterday, Sunday morning's stream, you missed to see the little... Uh, show out I did of the super secret project. I could delete the VOD from the stream, but you can go check if you want because it is a super secret project, but it's really not that super secret. <laughs> so have a good day, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. Goodbye.